Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to convert eSIM to a physical SIM card. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you exactly convert your eSIM here to a physical SIM card? Well, in this case, the first thing that you want to do is you may want to remove your actual SIM card or eSIM here. So in this case, you want to go open up your settings and you want to look for mobile networks. And in this case, in this case, as you can see, my eSIM or the eSIM uh, slot for my uh, phone right now is turned on. So what you need to do is you want to click on Manage eSIM. Now, in the next page here, you should have the option to delete your eSIM. Now, if you already added in here or you already added your eSIM, obviously you have the option to manage or basically delete it from your account here. So once you've deleted that, you could go ahead and basically go back here. And in order for you to start using the second slot on your uh, device here or start using your phone or without using eSIM you just need to click on the use eSIM option here and click on okay and your second the second slot on your phone if you're if you have if you have like a second slot on your phone should be turned on and from then on you should be able to start inserting the actual physical sim card into your uh, mobile device here now obviously you need to use a pin on the sides or the top depending on your mo the phone you currently have right now to basically access the actual slot and insert your physical sim card now the thing with this one if you're asking hey or where uh how do i get a physical one uh well in this case in order for you to get or convert your eSIM to an actual physical card here you need to contact the support page of the provider that you have for your eSIM like for example you have like for example you have like T-Mobile or if you have Glove or in, th in this case it actually depends on what you uh what type of SIM card you currently have like for example you want to go and visit the actual page for your provider and you want to go ahead and just reach out to their support so usually a link for support should be at the very bottom here so there are going to be different ways to access this so if you don't see it at the very bottom you may need to access your menu here and just click on help and support and from here on just reach out to uh, a customer support representative uh for your provider here so in my case maybe i want to choose one of a uh, one of here so let's go and choose the option here for postpaid for what's eSIM. Click and click on learn more. And from here, you should be able to see a few questions that you could actually refer to. So for example, I want to switch back to a physical SIM card. Can I still keep my number? So you can just click on this one. And according to my provider here, I need to visit the nearest Globe store for further assistance and basically pay a fee in order for me to have a physical SIM card instead of an eSIM uh, for my phone here. So yeah, so basically uh, the price itself may vary depending on the provider itself. You may need to go to an actual store or you may need to log a ticket via the official web page of your provider. But then again, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.